Hello everyone. This is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai. And uh, as you are aware, I am the scientific director of Shri IVF Clinic. At our facility, we do not do the donor sperm program, and we have a special interest in managing cases with azoospermia and in other patients who require any form of testicular intervention for extraction of sperms. Remember, whenever we have azoospermia, that means zero sperm counts. Quite a lot of times, the couples usually lose hope, thinking that they will not be able to have a child with their own sperms. We've discussed about azoospermia in multiple previous videos, but what I would like to inform is that patients with obstructive azoospermia, which is a little second common cause for azoospermia, they have an excellent sperm retrieval rate of close to 95%. And patients with non-obstructive azoospermia, which has multifactorial etiologies, can expect a sperm retrieval rate of close to 55 to 60 percent. The very fact that I am shooting this video is because I want to demonstrate that in order to perform surgeries for patients with non-obstructive azoospermia, wherein we would like to do micro dissection of the testes, apart from a well-trained reproductive specialist, one needs a very, very good operating microscope. And that is the operating microscope which I am trying to demonstrate, which is used at our setup in order to perform these surgeries. So as one can see, this looks to be like a complex instrument, but remember the main part of the instrument is here. This is the eyepiece through which the doctor actually looks and this is the piece where you can focus the testes. So for example, when a patient is lying down on the bed, this piece is adjusted over the testis, over the scrotum, okay? And the beauty is, once the position is given, this entire camera head can be moved in three different axes, whatever the doctor needs and whatever fine adjustment needs to be done. Simultaneously, if one notices, there is a little knob here, which specifies how much magnification can we give to this particular testis. So one must realize that while doing this procedure, the maximum magnification which we can get is approximately 45 to 50 times, which gives us a very good idea of the nature, the appearance and the looks of the seminiferous tubules which are present inside the testis. Remember, in cases of non-obstructive azoospermia, just one good seminiferous tubule is enough to find sperms in patients where the reports, especially even biopsy reports, have demonstrated Sertoli cell syndrome, testicular failure, testicular atrophy, and in all these conditions, with the help of such good and advanced equipment, the doctor who is trained in doing these surgeries will have a good shot. And when I say a good shot, will have a sperm retrieval rate of close to 55 to 60 percent on a broad variety of cases with non-obstructive azoospermia. The other condition where we frequently use the operating microscope in patients who have sperms, but all the sperms are completely immotile. Okay, so that is a condition which is absolute asthenozoospermia. It's a common condition where 100% of the sperms will be immortal. And in that situation as well, we use the operating microscope to identify the seminiferous tubule which is the most vascular. If we identify that tubule with enough experience, there is a good probability to get though immortal, but sperms which have a flicker inside them. So that is the other main advantage for using this operative microscope. Before I conclude, I would also like to tell you that though this looks to be a very large instrument, patients who undergo the surgery for micro dissection for obstructive or non-obstructive azoospermia can expect a recovery to occur within four to six hours of the procedure. Most of the patients are allowed to go back home on the day of the procedure itself and more than 95% of the patients get back to their routine activity within 24 hours of this procedure being performed. I'm sure 
considering the multiple videos of Asus Permia which we have. This is going to be an add-on video. Should there be questions, you can post them in the comments box. Me or one of my team members will try and get back to you as quickly as we can. Thank you.